Well, as the weather gets hotter, it is the perfect time to get out and have an adventure. And CBS 2's Roland Stedham joins us live. He's at the Horseshoe Bend Flight Park to show us how your next adventure can reach new heights. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Brett and Natalie, did you say the word adventure? Because you know that's my middle name. I absolutely love all things that have to do with the great outdoors, especially here in the Treasure Valley. And we have a brand new flight park. First of all, I'll just give you a little orientation. We're sitting on top of Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend is located directly right there just on the other side of Lane. And you can see the incredible perspective that we have from the top of this mountain here. And so Lane is sitting here and he's getting ready to inflate his kite. It's not a kite, it's actually a paraglider. And so he's sitting here waiting for the wind and the wind is helping to inflate the cells and those cells wanna start generating lift. And all of a sudden we're seeing a number of these paragliders that are starting to get ready because the prime time for gliding is gonna be coming up here after five o'clock. So I came out here Oh, a couple of weeks ago, and actually did a ride with these guys in a tandem rig. So you don't have to be a paraglider to actually go up and experience the joy of flight here at Horseshoe Bend. Take a look. All right, you're next, man. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I'm going to say run, run, run. So you'll be running. As soon as we're flying and there's no jumping involved, the faster you run, the quicker we're gonna take off. Okay? Okay, ready? Run, run, run. run, run, run. Here we go. Yep. Keep running, fast, keep running. Faster, faster, faster. Keep running. Uh, there we go. It's very simple. You know, there's nothing to overthink. Forward, forward, Taking a step forward and getting in the harness is it. Um, Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Yep. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! Nice, smooth flare. There you go, good job. Going off the top is feeling pretty natural. This is my 21st flight. Um, but the landings, I still don't have that real comfortable. Uh -huh. This is how it works, yeah. you know. Yeah, sure. It's, uh, just came down this morning and you're gonna be seeing more of my ugly face than you probably want to, Scotty, I can tell you that. God, is that fun. Yeah, Unbelievable. Man. Awesome. So what'd you think when you when you went off the uh, off the edge? What was going through your mind? Well, it, you, you're too busy thinking of the things yeah, you're supposed to do, do you know. Uh, where to put your hands, where to put your feet, stuff like that. But once you're flying, it's just like, uh, it's just unbelievable. And I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. And, and it was, I mean, we were just so close to the to the face, and it was so smooth. It was just, it was just unreal. And stand up. <laughs> close enough. Close enough. Oh well. Yeah, Ro. High five, buddy. That was awesome, dude. Freaking awesome. Nice, what, a, what a ride that was. Right on. I'll unclip you here. And absolutely, it was as much fun as it looked like on the video. Now, as you guys know, I'm a skydiver. I've got approximately 700 jumps under my belt. This is completely different from skydiving. Yeah, there's that little bit of a sensation when you're going off the edge where you go, uh, am I gonna fly, am I gonna fly? And all of a sudden the canopy starts flying, but there's no sensation of free falling, something of that nature. This is literally, I think, what it would be like to soar like a bird because that's exactly what it felt like. And here's Justin, he was my tandem instructor and he's out here he's just kind of flying his kite uh winds are a little squirrely right now aren't they justin yeah it's pretty midday thermals yeah 
going on right now. So we're just practicing some ground handling. That's good. That's good. So these guys will start flying usually right around 5, 6 o'clock in the evening when the winds and the thermals begin to subside. So let's go ahead and take a look at some weather, guys, and see what the temperatures are doing outside because if you think it is hot, you are absolutely correct. It is super hot outside right now. Temperature readings are right around the century mark, give or take a couple of degrees. Now we're going to continue to see this hot weather pattern for the next five to seven days. In fact, I think it's not only going to be hot, I think it is going to be very, very dry. And that means that all of the brush, all of the low lying grass and everything we have surrounding southwestern Idaho is rapidly beginning to dry out. So please take that into consideration. As you head into the backcountry, you go anywhere where there's the possibility of fuel igniting on these hillsides, like what we saw with the Avermore fire yesterday. Please be super, super careful because it's getting drier and it's going to stay super dry. So the front shows uh, that's moving into the northwest really not going to be much of a factor for us. It will help to cool temperatures down a few degrees, but that's all it's really going to do. So here's the seven-day forecast. Again, temperatures tomorrow, not at the century mark. We're probably going to be closer to around the low to mid 90s range. So we'll back it off about 8 to 10 degrees tomorrow, but then we'll start to warm things up again by the end of the week. And this weekend, it's going to be another hot one. Notice on the 70 forecast, there's no rain. There's no significant cloud cover. When we get these high pressure ridges that bear down on top of the state of Idaho, like these are doing, this high pressure ridge is doing, it just cooks the atmosphere and it dries us out. So up in the high country as well, very dry conditions expected for the next five to seven days with overnight lows dropping down into the 40s and 50s and daytime highs up in the Long Valley, right around uh, that low to mid 80s range. So we got another, Randall is out there they're all practicing what they're doing right now again they're not really going off they're not going for flight the winds a little too squirrely at this peak heating of the day but they do get to practice flying their kites and uh, flying their parachutes and just to feel that sensation of inflating them and getting ready to go but it's going off the edge that's where it's all about Brent and Natalie